hey everybody welcome back to my channel it's me jasmine janice thanks for showing up i know y'all want to see how i created this bomb look you know well you know i already know what to do subscribe make sure you hit that subscribe button and like and tell me what y'all think in the comments tell me what you think is a new backdrop of the wig you know i had to pull it out you know i had to snatch y'all edges real quick but uh yeah stay tuned and see how i did this bomb ass look Okay, so first I am gonna put a little of my pre-setting spray, not setting spray on my face. Um, I'm still trying to get the skin together. You already know. I am gonna take um, my peachy primer from Too Faced. Yes, from Too Faced. I don't know why I wanted to say tart, but Too Faced, and I'm gonna put that on first. And, um, it smells so, so good. If you haven't tried it, please try it. It's so good. I love it so much. But yeah, I'm just gonna put this all over my face. And then I'm gonna start with my Milani Brow Pencil. It is in the shade Dark Brown, but you can see my brows are really light. So um, it's gonna be dark brown when I use it more. But in reality, you know, it's more of a light brown. I'm also gonna fill them in with a brown from my um, Juvia's Place palette. I am gonna just take a dark brown in there, not a super dark brown, but a brown shade and set them with that powder because my skin is oily and if I don't set my brows, honey, they are gone. If I sweat a little bit or I forget they're there like I do all the time, I will wipe them off and then I'll just be out there with like one and a half brows looking crazy, looking out of pocket. So usually I have to put on quite a bit of makeup to remember I have it on or I'm going to just take them brows off. Them brows just going to go right off my face. Nope, gone. But um, this brow turned out really good and I did it really fast. I hadn't used a pencil in a while and I was proud of that brow. I was like, yes, brow did it in like five seconds. It was cute. It was cute. I was like, yeah. But I did the other one off camera, of course. Or no, I did. I um, actually did the other one and I just filled them off camera. And I'm gonna actually um, carve them out and everything with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. So they're already filled and set and everything like that. And then I'm gonna take these really, really soft, very pigmented shadows. If you watched my um, previous video when I tried to use this, I was not using this correctly. I did not set my concealer this time. And um, I patted them on there. You have to really pack them and uh blending them is really like you have to be very 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 careful um when i did the other eye i was kind of in a rush because of course i filmed at night always even though i was off these last few days i don't know why i filmed so late but yeah i just um you're gonna see that i was just packing them on there but it worked a lot better and they came up a lot better obviously this look turned out really good better than i thought i didn't know what colors i was going to use um, y'all know how I feel about green. I'm going to take this green and I did not hate it. And I was so surprised. It looks really good. And I was like, oh my God, I actually like it. So my next look, I'm probably going to actually try a little, a green one. My favorite Christmas movie is How the Grinch Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey. I haven't seen the cartoon one, but the original one is like dear to my heart. It's my favorite. And then I took this blue that was actually popping it like blending in with that green really well and then I took another blue I almost took a pink but I was not sure I had so many shades to choose from I took this blue and it kind of looked exactly like the one I just used and you couldn't tell until I actually put it on and that's why it shimmered a little bit but this blue I put on had a lot of um, iridescent glitter in it and that's why it popped up like it did and it actually turned out really bomb I just went back with the previous blue and I try to go back and forth and really blend them without trying to blend them. Because even if I, I, I was afraid to even take a clean blending brush and try to do it because they were all so different in color. Sorry y'all, I was listening to Cardi B and I was, I was ready for this look. I was so excited. I don't know why, usually I'm really tired at night, but I was really ready to film this. And I've just blended that side the best I could. Um, I knew I didn't want to do the whole eye. I kind of thought that I would do another shadow on my lid, but it actually didn't turn out that way. 
but I really liked how this side, I like this side way better than the other one, I'm not gonna lie. But um, I didn't wanna do, I almost did a backwards look, but instead I did completely different colors on the other side, which I liked a lot better. Um, and then obviously I took my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Cool Tan, as always. And that's usually what I use on my eyelids. And I took that and I just, I, I cut out my crease, but I didn't want to really put anything to divert from what I just did, all the work I just did. Um, so I just kind of patted it down because I, I used quite a bit of concealer and I didn't want it to smudge and get into the color I just did. But um, I, I was really proud of myself with that. I mean, that turned out really good. I, I wasn't sure how it was going to do with the brown brows, but it actually it wasn't that bad. I, I really wanted to make them black like always, but I decided not to. And I just did the other eye off camera. Boom, there it is. And then um, that's my Juvia's Plus. You know my trusty palette that I use for color right now. Because that's the most colorful palette I have right now. Um, I took that pretty much like, I don't want to say it was white. It was a nice cream color. And I wanted to put something really shiny and bright without using glitter or at an actual color that would take away from what I did. And this was kind of perfect because it drawed attention to my eye without drawing attention away from the color. So it actually worked out really, really well. I really, really liked how it looked. I'm sorry, I know I keep telling y'all how much I liked it. I mean, I like it. I, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't post it. You know, I want y'all to like it, but this is easily, I can say, one of my favorite looks that I did because like always, I didn't plan it. I didn't get it. This isn't an inspiration look. This was all me. And um, I know it's kind of been done already, but I just really liked how it looked on me. I, I really thought I was gonna look crazy. Like, I was like, oh my God, I hope this turns out good. But it, it turned out great, I thought so. And then of course, I'm gonna take my Revlon Skinny Eyeliner. I bought two more. I bought one from Elf and I bought another one. And I can't. I, I think that's also a Revlon one. And I just wanted to show y'all how how much I struggle put it on eyeliner. I mean, this is probably like this turned out. If I didn't, I always have a habit of tilting my head, which makes my eyeliner straighter than what I need it to be. The key is to look forward, and I know that. But since I was at a table and I was really trying to see, and I didn't have a mirror, I used the camera. So that's why I'm so up close and personal, which I wanted so y'all could really see what I was doing. But it turned out a lot straighter. I didn't hate it though. It looks good. But I, I really needed the angle because I would have just took some concealer and just cut that so you wouldn't see all the access from the um, orange that I had on my uh, crease. But still, like I said, I, eyeliner, I wanted it thicker anyway, so it was an easy fix. And, um, but like I said, I could have left them straight and it was perfectly fine. But always on this side, since I have to go at an angle to go across my body, that one is clearly going much farther up than the other side is, which I noticed and I tried to fix, but in the end, it all worked out perfectly fine. I made it thicker because initially I wanted it like pretty much covering up half of my eye, my eyelid, but her how my eyes are I didn't want it to look crazy so I really wanted to keep it on the outside you know not the main part of the attention piece of my eyes I just wanted it to be thicker not really thin and sharp like usual I just wanted it you know a little bigger than usual just so you could see that my eyelid was pretty much causing attention but not really causing attention I like how it made my eye shape look when I made it thicker on the ends instead of trying to just make it really skinny and sharp. That's why I would see, I was trying to compare sides and fix it because you know, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. And I feel like if I wouldn't have pointed it out, I mean, unless you do makeup like religiously, like you know, you know, you know that stuff, probably no one would have noticed. But you know, I keep it real and I, I tell y'all like, if I don't know what I was doing or if I messed up something, I definitely told y'all. Now these lashes were a pair that if you follow me on Snapchat, if not follow me on Snapchat, I'll leave my name right there below so you can see it. But 
yeah um I already showed that these, the lashes I have on right now, I got from Walmart and they look way better than I thought they were going to look. They look so good and it came like six or seven pairs and it was like eight bucks So um, for the whole pack and it looks really good. And this is my Master Chrome highlighter from Walgreens that was like $7.00. And it always looks really cute on me. I don't know for what reason. I sprayed my face previous to this. And it just wasn't. I was so afraid to really like dip, dip, dip in it. Like you see when I put it on my nose. It pops up really good. But next time I put it on. I will not be so shy. I'm going to just throw it on there. And be glowing like a strobe light. I don't care. But um, that lip was one of my lip liners that I previously got. And a nice pink lipstick that I had. Just one laying around. But. There it is. I mean, bomb, bomb, bomb. Look at it. Yes. There we go. That's the final look. You know, I just had to come through with a little nice wig. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, if not, follow me on Facebook. But if you follow me on Facebook, uh, this is my long wig that I had. And I cut it short. And, girl, I've been living. But, as always, tell me what y'all thought. Tell me what you think about everything I did in the video. More of what you want to see, what you don't want to see. I mean, more of what you want to see. Yeah, that's the most important thing. That backdrop is killing it. And she's cute, girl. Girl, is cute. Come through. But like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Girl, you should wear a name tag.